Hi, this is Matt Hamrick with the Homebrew Mobile Phone Club, and this is the third installment of my video blog. Um, last two installments, we've been bringing up the MyPhone. First, uh, we just booted with the Samsung LCD, then we got DirectFB working. Uh, today, I've got um, some progress to show you on getting DirectFB working. So DirectFB is an open source library that gives you a lot of the same functionality as uh, DirectX over on the Microsoft platform. And uh, that is, it provides kind of a platform neutral API into a number of different bits of hardware. So that way you can be kind of sure that if you um, develop an application that's written to this API, you won't, um, I mean that software investment won't be wasted the next time a bit of uh, new hardware comes out. So, uh, and more importantly, there are some other interesting libraries like uh, Cairo and GTK that are layered on top of DirectFB. So, um, yeah, I got it working and um, it was a little bit difficult. I had to make some uh, patch files. Um, those will be available on the website. Um, and uh, yeah, actually, let me just start and I'll show you an example. Doop -doop 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 -doop. Okay, so there is our my phone. You've probably seen this. If you've been following this video blog, you know you've seen something like this the last couple of times. Okay, so I'm going to run a little uh, demo out. Woohoo! Lots of little penguins. Woohoo! Okay, and it wouldn't be complete without me showing you another one of my favorite demo apps. Ooh, I like this one. Okay, this is not my demo app. This came with DirectFB examples. Um, basically what I'm showing is, is that DirectFB does kind of work. Um, and again, the information about how I did it is going to be available on the, on the blog, uh, or excuse me, on the wiki somewhere. And um, I guess that's it. So um, I'll talk to you guys later.